so I'm here to review my top five creams for psoriasis. Now these are all creams that I have used for quite a long time now and I don't believe in using like steroid creams or anything with like harsh chemicals in it. So all of these are natural, uh, majority of them are vegan I think, um, except for maybe a couple but we can go through that. And yeah, just a really quick dis disclaimer before I start. Um, this is my take on the creams. So just because some of them have worked for me or haven't worked for me, doesn't mean that you'll be the same. Um, Cause I've found like throughout the psoriasis community that there's just been like so many different ones that like someone might get a reaction from or lots of people say this one works and then other people try and they've got a completely different take on it. So this is my take on it. Um, so you do need to try it for yourself, but this is just a little bit of, um, you know, advice from me and a review from me. So to start off with, I'm going to do Child's Farm. Now this one, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I like rave about it and post about it all the time. It's from the UK. It's not actually designed for psoriasis. It's designed for children and babies. So it's been approved by pediatricians, um, dermatologists, and it is suitable for sensitive skin. It also says that it is um, safe for people who are prone with eczema. Now, the reason that I started to try this or that I bought it was because I was in the UK and I'm pretty sure something popped up on Daily Mail. Uh, so we checked it out. It was like $2 from the Boots Pharmacy there. Um, and in the Daily Mail article, this guy had was like covered in psoriasis and he started using it and his psoriasis started to go away. So that's why I started using it. I've had like a lot of success with it. And <clears throat> pardon me, I definitely recommend you to try it. Um, so, I mean, you know, if something is formulated for babies and newborns, like it's definitely not gonna hurt if you try it or if you put it on your skin. Um, I'm just having a read of some of the ingredients. Sorry, I probably should have done a run through of this video, but whatever. Yeah, so it's got like all natural sort of stuff. Um, it is fragrance free, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. Honestly, I just recommend trying it. This is not sponsored or anything like that. They have actually sent me some in the past. Um, but that's just because I always post about it and have had success using it. So this is, well, this is one of my number one creams, but I now have two number ones. Um, so I will show you what the next one is. It's a new one that um, got sent to me about a month ago. It's called CeraVe or CeraVe. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. This stuff is a total game changer. Like I swear to God. Um, to start off with the texture of it. Oh wait, I did do the texture of Child's Farm. Hang on one sec. I'll just show you the texture of Child's Farm. So that's what it looks like. Um, and it goes on, like it is quite a thin consistency. It goes on and you can rub it in quite quickly. It has got a bit of a fragrance, but just more of like a natural, like, I don't know what you would call it. Um, and yeah, it does like sink into the skin really quickly, which is good. Um, I wake up and I feel hydrated. Um, it's not non-greasy and yeah, it's awesome. Um, but sorry, going back to CeraVe, CeraVe, look at this. So if any of you have ever tried, I've literally run out of the cream. I've gone through this in like one whole month. Actually, I probably went through it in like three weeks. So the last little bits I'm really holding on to. But if you've ever used Tatcha, the water cream, it is exactly like that. So if you have a look, it literally goes on like water and it is so hydrating. A little bit goes a long way as well. Afterwards, when you touch your skin, Oh my god like you've got no idea even if you didn't have psoriasis or eczema like oh you need to try it it's it's amazing um, now I know that this one has been formulated with ceramides 
I did a little bit of research, but I mean, I'm not a skin specialist or an expert. Um, but the Ceramides, like, they make a barrier to, like, keep the hydration and moisture inside your skin. Um, and it just keeps it, like, hydrated for longer. It's also been approved by dermatologists as well. Um, so it's got three essential Ceramides and hyaluronic acid. It's fragrance free and I do believe that it is vegan as well and cruelty free. Um, so this one only just landed in Australia maybe like a month or two ago. I know that they sell it in Chemist Warehouse and it's relatively cheap. This did get sent to me but it's not sponsored. Um, but I'm definitely going to buy more because like I really, really, really like it. Um, I would probably say I love it. And out of all the creams, this is now my favourite. Um, this was always my favourite, but after trying this, I just, yeah, I'm like the biggest advocate. Um, I saw that they have like a whole range of different products. So like cleansers and facial moisturisers and even like makeup wipes and stuff like that. So yeah, I can't wait to try it. Um, and this, this is the moisturising lotion that's for dry to very dry skin. So yeah it's perfect definitely give it a go if you can um the next one that i'm going to talk about is the dream cream from lush now lush is literally one of my favorite shops i always get their bath bombs um, i saw that they now have new shampoo and conditioning bars of soap so you don't need to worry about um, the plastic containers or anything like that um, and I do believe this one is vegan as well and cruelty free because all of Lush's products are. Um, it's been made with oat milk, rose water, organic extra virgin olive oil, cocoa butter, trade fair, oh, trade fair organic cocoa butter, um, tea tree oil, lavender oil. Um, so it's really good to see, you know, stuff that you recognize. Like I said, I'm no skin specialist or expert um, but I love to see like natural ingredients like that in there um, and they do say that the oats have been used to treat eczema and cool down skin because oats contain antihistamines um, and then yeah they've also got vegetable glyce uh, glycerin in there I literally always stuff up that word glycerin um, so yeah now this one is um, oh my god I can't open it it kind of smells like a mixture of like tea tree oil. Yeah, just like, I don't even know. So yeah, it is, it is definitely not fragrance free. It's not a bad fragrance, but I'm just more into like fragrance free stuff and I'd rather smell like my perfume. Um, it is a really thin consistency, which I'll show you. Now, I don't mind this one. Um, I don't really know why. Like, it's just not been my favorite. I think that it is like super hydrating and stuff, but I just find that it kind of like sinks into my skin and then I'll touch my skin maybe like an hour later and I just feel like I have to moisturize again, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would give it a go because I've seen like lots of people on Instagram who rave about it and have had so much success with it, with their eczema or, or their psoriasis. So give it a go. Um, I don't hate it, but I just haven't found that it worked that well for me. It's about $20, I think, from Lush as well. So it's a little bit more expensive than some, but it's still cheap. So give it a go. Um, maybe see if they've got like a sample at Lush that you can get. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is E45. This one is also from the UK. Um, it's got quite a thick consistency. So if you see that, it's not even going to drip off my finger. Um, and I think that it takes a little bit longer. I mean, I've already got creams on here, but I think that when you put it on, like, it just takes a little bit longer to like get into your skin um and i know that it says like it's non-greasy but i find it to be a little greasy 
um, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, and now it is for dry and flaky skin, eczema, dry psoriasis, and it also treats sunburn as well. So it's a good one, really cheap. In Australia, it's also available at Chemist Warehouse. Um, yeah, oh, smell. Oh, you know what it smells and it feels like, uh, is it QV cream or CV cream? I think it's QV, just like that cream that you can get at the pharmacy that's like quite a thick consistency. This is so similar. That's exactly what I would compare it to. Now the next one that I'm going to talk about, I actually didn't bring any with me. Um, I ran out and I'm still waiting on some more. Um, it's called Ali Organics Calm Cream. Now this one is not vegan because it has honey in it, um, Manuka honey, but it is all natural ingredients and it's specifically designed for ex eczema and psoriasis relief. Um, it's steroid free. The ingredients, um, sorry, I'm just looking on my phone because I don't have the bottle with me. So it's got plant-based ingredients, including six botanical extracts, including licorice, um, aloe vera, marshmallow, nettle leaf, white tea, and manuka honey. Now, this one is like a brown sort of color, like a light brown, and it does have an odor. Like, I feel like it smells like it's some sort of olive cream or something. Um, but yeah, no, I have found like quite a lot of success with it. Um, I think it's about $35. I don't know if it's available in all countries. I know that it is in Australia and I think the UK. Um, but if you just go to their website or their Instagram, they'll be able to um, like direct you where to go. But yeah, it definitely is um, one that I do love. But if you don't have access to any of these creams, um, if they're not available in your country, or if you're just looking for like an easy, cheaper, fast alternative, um, coconut oil, it's always amazing. Whenever I get scalp psoriasis, I always like massage it into my scalp. Having blonde hair, I actually also put it all over my hair and like sleep in it. Um, it just like helps with keeping my hair healthy. Um, so that is an option for you. I also love um, just like straight up aloe vera gel. I found that that can be really soothing and really healing. If you have access to an aloe vera plant, um, you just like snip the leaf off and get all the stuff out of the leaf. You can store the leaves in like your freezer or in the fridge um, and then it comes out cold and yeah, it's super soothing. Um, and then another one, like, I mean, I picked this up on my holiday um, it's literally just like Nivea, like after sun. So it's got aloe vera in it. Um, it's super hydrating. Um, it's got av avocado oil, avocado oil in it. Yeah, it does actually. Um, so that's an option for you as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess take what you want out of this video. Um, you guys might have had different experiences to me with these creams. If you haven't tried these creams and have any questions, just like you can DM me on Instagram or um, yeah, like write a comment below. Um, if you do enjoy my videos, then subscribe. Um, and yeah, thanks.